Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Little Patch. Today we are down in the pea garden. Now, the peas that I've got planted in here have a rather bad disease that uh, is not very easy to treat. The disease that we are dealing with here is called black spot. Not black bug, that's the black bug. Um, this is black spot. Black spot is a soil borne or air borne uh, disease, uh, which means that the, the disease itself can stay in the soil for, um, I think it was, it was up to five years. So I did have this in here last year. I didn't have anywhere near as much issue with it last year. I didn't think too much of it. Uh, so I planted peas in here again. This year I have a very huge issue with black spot. Last year there was only a few, few plants I've got it. This year uh, the two rows, the two most mature rows, pretty much I can't see a plant that doesn't have it. So it will spread through one plant touching the next plant which will then pass along to the next plant. Um, it can also spread through the wind blowing the spores from the disease. Uh, and it can also be transferred through air when you're watering or if it's raining and the soil splashes up onto the leaves. So um, it's quite a vicious, I would call it, I would call it quite a vicious disease. Um, it is taking over these plants a lot quicker than the, uh, the plants can actually mature their peas. Now, so uh, the black spot does affect your pea pods. So this is this morning's pickings, not a huge amount, um, but I do think that the black spot has reduced my yield, not to mention the horse ate a full row. So as you can see, uh, some of these peas pods have a little bit of black markings on them, um, right down to a very much um, infected by the disease itself as well. Um, I'll open this up and I'm going to show you the peas inside. So the peas themselves inside are not infected by the disease. So this is why I am choosing to eat them. I would definitely not keep any of the seeds to grow again next year because obviously the diseases are already inside the pea seed. Uh, that is where I would assume that I have gotten my disease to start with even though I purchase seeds. Um, I would say that some of or... I would say that some of those peas were infected or it's come in on the hay that I purchased for my horse um, and then uh, gotten into the soil as well so uh, it also could have come in or in the compost that I purchased um, and bought in as well so it's very difficult to know exactly where the disease has come from. Um, it could have come in on the air as well from a neighbour uh, who's growing peas and has the same disease as well. So I'm going to get in here up here nice and close and personal and explain to you and show you exactly how this disease slowly but surely kills our pea plants. So these are the pea plants. They look healthy enough. Um, on the surface, they have plenty of flowers, plenty of peas growing, and they just look like they're doing fine. But there are very big signs that they're not. So down the bottom here, you will see all of the stems here. They have turned black right from where they are in the ground, and this disease will slowly work its way up they become extremely they become extremely weak and brittle and uh, 
they just slowly basically slowly die from the bottom um all the leaves missing here most of that is snail damage got a lot of snails in here this year um so yeah so when you look at the leaves they are like brown black spots on them and uh they just die back as well so it uh, it looks ugly it is not very pretty and unfortunately there is nothing much we can do so this entire row of peas here so if you look underneath here it is all infected as well um, the other thing that it is causing is you might not be able to tell but a lot of these plants are just really really wilty and bending over um, I haven't put any extra runners up here but I decided with the amount of disease that's in here I'm not going to waste my time in putting up any more trellising because by the time anything grows at the top the plant is going to be fully done So these two rows, it's only a matter of time. These plants have pretty much got black spot the entire length of the plant and are slowly not producing any more flowers. I still have plenty of peas. I will let them mature as much as they can. These are not as mature. You can see that they're all standing up and looking at trying to reach the next run. But when you come down here, you can see the signs, first signs of black spot in here. So these plants as well, this row, they are also infected and it's only a matter of time for these as well. This is a little bit more advanced, this one, so they start to yellow. and you can see this one has the bottom bit that's dying off as well so don't waste your time and money trying to treat this guys there is absolutely nothing you can do it's in the soil um, it's on the plants which will then just spread to the next plant so to me, it's just a really waste of money to even try and treat the black spot. Um, <laughs> yeah, so what do you do? Diseases get in and there's not much else I can do but let it die. Hi guys. All right. Thank you for joining me today on this quick little chat about a vicious little disease which is curling off my pea pants very, very quickly and reducing my yield in the gardens, in the gardens this year. So anyway, I still have some peas that I'm getting in. There'll be enough for a few meals. But yeah, so guys, 
check out the videos that are going to pop up here hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll see you in the garden again soon